Hi, I'm Larry Sassano. I'm president of Florida's Great Northwest, and my guest today is none other than the mayor of Pensacola, Mayor Ashton Hayward. I won't say the third, but Mayor, welcome, and thank you so much for agreeing to be our guest on the show today. Well, thanks, Larry. I'm excited to be here, and obviously, uh, all the things that you're doing at Great Northwest, and most importantly, uh, you're a dear friend of mine, and we're very happy, and uh, to be able to work together. I, I met you, you know, three years ago, three and a half years ago before yeah. I was sworn in. So I'm really excited to be on your show. Well, glad to have you. And uh, I'm sorry it took so long to get you on the show, but you're a busy man. <laughs> We're trying to be busy every day, all day. <laughs> We're going to talk about some of the things you're doing here. And um, I think maybe kick off with the military men and women in our area, since it's such a, a great uh, reinforcement for our workforce. And um, Tell us what you're doing with the, we have a large veteran population. I learned the other day uh, through uh, Congressman Miller that we have 120,000 uh, veterans in Northwest Florida in his district. That's a lot of men and women. Well, that's an incredible uh, population, but most importantly, you know, we take a lot of pride in Pensacola being a military town, the cradle of naval aviation. We're celebrating this year, 1914, 100 years now that NAS uh, was started uh, when the great folks from Washington, D.C. came down here. Uh, so across the panhandle in Northwest Florida, all the men and women and what they do to keep our country safe, yeah. uh, to protect the globe, to help us sleep well at night, um, it's truly amazing. And we have an incredible workforce with a lot of those folks. We really do. You know, that, <clears throat> that military men and women uh, with the workforce that they represent, it, it's broadcast all over the world. People recognize what's going on in Pensacola and Fort Walton Beach and Panama City about the workforce because it, it's such a well-trained, uh, disciplined workforce and it's unique. And, and when, when we work with companies coming to our area, if they're coming to Pensacola, they already know about our workforce. That's a wonderful thing, you know? That's a big thing, and we have a lot of great folks that work at the city of Pensacola that were in the military. Yeah. Um, so, so we're able to benefit that aspect, but across Northwest Florida, and now that we're so focused on recruiting businesses and diversifying our economy, we know a lot of the folks in the military are getting out earlier than they, they yeah. did before. Uh, so that's a big caveat and a carrot, if you will, to attract those great companies. Um, I know that's what you talk about a lot, and that's what I do when I'm traveling and trying to recruit business. And, you know, obviously with aerospace, you know, in a big way, coming to Gulf, uh, the Gulf uh, Coast and obviously Northwest Florida, yeah. creating that cluster, it helps to have that military presence and, of course, the folks getting out. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's focus on Pensacola and the Pensacola market, which is your... Uh, primary focus as well. You've done a great job here and uh, got good recognition uh, around the state. And I think that, um, what's your secret? You know, what, what is it that uh, you've brought to the community as the mayor with this large staff uh, and, a, and a good sized budget that really is working for you? Well, I wanted to have the, the, the attitude to, that it's the, it's the people's town, it's our city, we should take ownership. And as the CEO of the city of Pensacola, managing a $200 million budget, and Pensacola is unique where we have a natural gas company. I was driving out to Cox today to the mm -hmm. studios, and I saw our third natural gas fueling station that's going to be completed at the end of the month. Um, we have a sanitation company, we have an airport, and we have a port. Uh, and we're also America's first settlement. So when I came into office, I wanted to look at it from a CEO standpoint, how we can tell that story, grow our city, and, and do what we can to recruit business, but most importantly, be focused on a business environment and be friendly to our business owners that are local and the ones that we're trying to attract. But most importantly, get in my car and head east to Tallahassee, build a relationship that I have with Governor Rick Scott and the terrific job that he's doing with our great state of Florida and letting people know, you know, we have the sunniest uh, skies and the widest beaches, but we yeah. want you to come to our great state. And we also want you to visit Northwest Florida and I look at Pensacola as the capital of Northwest Florida, driving everything financially, legally, culturally, and partnering with my friends to the east, such as you uh, and the other counties, because I'm a big fan of, of, of where you live. Yeah, uh, you. And it, it's important that we work together uh, and we really grow that, because if it's not going to be able to be done in Pensacola, maybe it'll be done down in uh, Destin or, uh, you know, in another town, you know, to the east of Pensacola. Uh, so I really came in with that business attitude. I was very fortunate to grow up in Pensacola, Florida. I've got great parents, great, you know, three sisters. Uh, but I was also fortunate to live in New York City. Yeah. And I think, you know, living in uh, Manhattan for 10 years really educated me on the different cultures um, of the world and how globalization has impacted uh, North America a lot quicker than I think we all anticipated. 
And you can have global companies right here in Northwest Florida and Pensacola, Florida, uh, just as easy as you can have them in New York City. Sure. So having that attitude that, um, that you can attract those folks from around the globe right here in our part of Florida um, is a big win, and that's the attitude that I take. You know, like it's always said that uh, New York City is the center of the universe. You know, we like to think that Northwest Florida is the center of the universe, you know. And uh, let's talk about the globalization and, and what you're doing with uh, aerospace in particular. Um, that's so exciting what's going on uh, in our backyard. First, let's talk about the ST Aerospace. Now, you've been working with them and, and you made a nice announcement recently. And I know there's, there's work being done with the city and the county and with that great company. Tell us about you know, your involvement in that. I know you've been deeply involved with that. Well, I think you asked a great question of how I approached the job. And one thing that's unique is before I was even sworn in, I took a trip to Washington, D.C. to meet the Secretary of the Navy, Ray Mabus, and uh, talked to the Secretary because Airbus was talking about coming to Mobile. And so right. obviously 53 miles to the west is Mobile and our, our, our border and our, our line there. Um, so, you know, the whole aviation thing was cranking up and um, I knew the folks at Crestview Aerospace that sold out to L3 and I started thinking about the future of Northwest Florida and Pensacola. Yeah. So we were fortunate that we got a phone call from ST and um, I'll never forget, he said, you, would you come visit Mobile? And I said, yeah, what time do you want me to be there? <laughs> and uh, anyways, he laughed and he said, well, you come today. But I said, you know, we set appointment uh, and we got actively involved in learning about their business. And um, if you look at the parent company, ST Engineering, they're in cybersecurity, they're in the defense contracting business, they're in the maritime business. They bought Halter Marine in uh, Mississippi. So I knew they were a very powerful, multi, uh, you know, national company. And I said, you know, we need them in Pensacola and we need them in Florida, most importantly. Uh, so I went after that, as any CEO would, with a great team. Uh, and I just got back from Singapore uh, close to three weeks ago to learn more about the corporation, but most importantly, learn about the leadership, uh, their board of directors in Singapore, and of course, the folks that traveled to Singapore from Mobile and, and my team here in Pensacola. Yeah, that was a great trip. Uh, it was a fan I, I've heard good, good things about that show. It was. There was an air show going on, obviously. But I think what's really unique is that we're all focused, uh, especially with, with your leadership, what you're doing, and also the elected officials are, are focused on growing uh, northwest Florida. If you think about Florida, you know, there's 18 and a half million south of Tallahassee, and then we have our million, uh, you know, over northwest Florida. So yeah. we have to be very competitive, and 7,000 people are moving into our great state every month. Uh, so it's important for us to be focused on business and growing that tax base and letting the world know that we're business friendly. So aviation and aerospace is a great dynamic that ties into our military men and women that have served our country uh, along Northwest Florida. Yeah, and, and what we're bringing in, which is interesting, the commercialization of aviation aerospace industry with some of the companies that we're targeting for Northwest Florida. And you know, Mayor, they're finding uh, our area to be very receptive to them, and that's what we want. We want to give them the impression, their first impression, that this is a great area to work in, to live in, and to do business in. And you know, with leadership like yourself, um, having that message over to them is very important. So it's nice that you're at the forefront of that. And in speaking of the forefront, you know, right down the road um, from ST is Airbus. So let's just talk about that for a second. We've got great plans for trying to lure some of their suppliers here. And, um, you know, the chamber, um, Scott Luth and his team are working hard. And we're working with them to set up those meetings and get those folks to look at us more closely. I think it's working. I, I think we're going to see uh, a lot more um, visibility from uh, our aspect in terms of marketing the region, plus having uh, an ST recognized there with major MRO like that is, is a big deal. I think it's a huge deal. And we were doing some of that with uh, helicopters, you know, companies at, the, at our airport, at Pensacola International yeah. Airport, um, with HelloWorks on the MRO side. But right. Scott and his team at our chambers has been fantastic. Yeah. Scott traveled with me, uh, you know, across the world to go talk to ST. So it's always nice when you have the, your team with you to go talk to those folks. But I think something that you touched on, Larry, that's incredibly important is they want to hear it not just from the business folks, but also from the politicians and the elected officials yeah. that we're pro-business, that we want you in our community and we want you to be a uh, part of that fabric uh, and the MRO business is huge the components and as you said the supplier side I think that's going to benefit all of us I know all of us are 
are uh, very jazzed up and want, want business in, in Northwest Florida and Pensacola. And of course, with Airbus, uh, with the assembly over there, that's a big win. But there's so many more components that go into aircraft and on the supply side, it's just, it's going to have uh, an effect that's going to tumble. And recently I was up in Kentucky visiting with UPS. Yeah. Uh, and, and UPS is excited about uh, ST coming to Pensacola. So, mm -hmm. you know, they work on a lot of these major airlines. And of course, the cargo side is a, is a big client of theirs. FedEx is a major client of theirs. So um, I think this is just going to have a huge impact and a trickle down effect uh, of other businesses looking at Northwest Florida. Uh, and Pensacola. Well, this cargo aspect, uh, can you touch upon that a little more? Yeah, definitely. Uh, that was one of the businesses that I want to go after. Uh, we were very fortunate to have UPS move out of Alabama into Pensacola, right. uh, which was the cargo facility, uh, the sorting facility of UPS. Um, of course, I would like to see FedEx move over to Pensacola International as well. But it, it's a big business. They're employing, uh, you know, close to 40 jobs, over 40 jobs at the airport, and they're high paying jobs. Uh, so most importantly, I think you, you hear about on the Fed level and the state level is, you know, building back the, the middle class and good paying jobs uh, where they can take care of their families. And the MRO world and the aviation world, uh, that's, a, that's a great business to be in. And also from the academic side, teaching our young folks that are in the high schools, uh, in the trade business, that we want them to get a job when they get out of school. Yeah, you know, th that's a great point too. The, so many of these uh, students can go into that aviation world and they don't necessarily have to have a college degree to do that. Correct. They can get a certification, particularly in the MRO field, because that's really going to be a big thing for the future of aviation. And we see companies like MRO and other major companies that are looking at us, they're gonna need these, what they call A and P technicians. And those training, and we're working with, you know, the college here sure. and the university on providing a kind of a fast track training program for these students so they can get qualified and, and get jobs in these companies. You know, the problem I think that we've had in the past um, not just in Northwest Florida, but all over Florida, has been the fact that we haven't really pushed the wage levels that some of these uh, technical jobs have uh, from these companies that are aerospace uh, related. And once we show that to the parents and to the students and have the programs in place and show them, hey, look, if you get the certification, you can almost get guaranteed a job in this industry, and it's a long-term uh, event for you so well I think that's a great thing in the aspect of that it's long term because you're right a lot of people the four-year college degree is not what people are looking for and they sure. want to be able to get certified and learn a, a trade and a skill and work for a great company like ST uh, or Airbus or any of the big um, right. you know airline companies uh, because they can have a sustainable job uh, in perpetuity, hopefully, and retire with that company if they're a good employee. But this is the great thing that we're talking to with ST is they really want to partner with the local community. They want to get these people trained that are, are not trained. Right. And um, so when they get out of our universities here locally, whether it's Pensacola State College, Pensacola Christian College or University of West Florida, um, they have an opportunity, George Stone, any of the trade schools. Right. And so they have an opportunity. And I think creating that awareness and that business model in the panhandle is so important for our young people. And I think one thing that you know a lot of people forget about, Larry, is the CEOs of these companies, they're looking for a quality of life. That's right. So let's not forget that because the world's changed so much. We talked about globalization earlier uh, with B2B and how supply chains happen. People want to get to an area like Northwest Florida, Pensacola, and all other great cities to the east of Pensacola. Uh, so it's important because they want to be in a great place too. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you know, my wife's native of Pensacola as well. And uh, we always come back here because she has family here as well. And we enjoy coming back. We have fun here. We, we go to Pensacola Beach and, you know, we have beautiful beaches too. But the nice thing is we've got a region full of that and it talks about quality of life. But I think... Pensacola has an opportunity here to really take lead with a company like ST, and that's just the start of it, I think. I think we're building, uh, you know, a, an entire um, uh, area focus of an of a industry that hasn't been here before. We had bits and pieces of uh, manufacturing, but now when you get a major MRO like that to your area, that says something about uh, what's going on in this area. Plus, it it, it allows other companies to look more closely at you. So when we're out there marketing Northwest Florida and we say, oh, well, here's Pensacola, and this is where uh, ST Aerospace is located, you know, they stand up and pay attention to what you're saying. 
I think that's an incredible point. I mean, you're talking about a blue chip brand in that world of the MRO world, but also in the aviation world and the other commercial airliners that they work on or in partner right. with. So they look and say, wow, they're in Pensacola, Florida. Right. You know, the folks in Pensacola must be doing something right. And we have great people in Pensacola and quality people and qualified people in Pensacola and across the panhandle. Yeah. So that, that speaks volumes. It's, you know, if you think about an IBM or an AT&T uh, or an Apple or a Microsoft in the world of aviation, when you talk about Boeing and you talk about Airbus and you talk about ST and in the MRO world, you know, people's uh, eyes, you know, they open, and especially other CEOs. And like you talked about, the suppliers, they're going to say, hey, what's going on down there? Right. And, um, you know, that's what we want to get that message out. And I think more than ever, uh, with Florida's Great Northwest, uh, obviously the mayor of Pensacola uh, and the other leaders in the chambers, we're really focused on growing Northwest Florida the correct way. Yes. And I think that's something that we, 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 um, we talk about and we're put, talking about more. It's a great business climate, and also um, I wanted to talk a, bit, a little bit about what you're doing with your airport there, too, and, sure. and Greg Donovan, and, and, and Greg and I talked in, uh, before uh, the show, and, and he said, please uh, tell the mayor about the, my first day in the job when he was over in Okaloosa County. So I'll mention it briefly. Uh, the first day that uh, he was starting with Okaloosa County as the airport director, I had him on my TV show. So I talked to the county manager. I said, can I... Uh, have Greg just for about an hour he said sure you know so you know he was there in his office for an hour and then he came over to the studio we taped and um, he was really a freshman you know but uh, it was a good memory for him and a good memory for me now you've got Greg here and he's doing great things working with you and uh, he's a lot of respect for you by the way <laughs> and, and what you're doing so what's going on with your airport there well uh, Greg Donovan is fabulous he's a terrific hire He's a leader within the organization, uh, and he has the buy-in from our employees out at the airport, most importantly. Yeah. And he's a fresh face, and he also, you know, when, the, when you know, our passengers are getting off the plane, I like to say, listen, the first perception to any city, if you're going to fly in uh, an aircraft into the city, uh, obviously on a commercial airliner, is your airport. And we have a stellar airport with a stellar team out there. Uh, we're very fortunate with all the airlines that we do have out there. But Greg understands the business. And so I aggressively went after him to you know, get him to move over to Pensacola. He started his career at uh, career Pensacola International. Right. So he's doing a wonderful job. And we're just focused on creating more ancillary lines of businesses out at our airport. Uh, we just did a great land plan out there. We have over 100 plus acres to bring more businesses to the airport. Uh, obviously, we have two FBOs out there. Um, and we want to create more value out there because one of the things that, um, you know, a lot of the airlines talk about is, is getting more ancillary lines of businesses right. outside of just the commercial world so you can bring that cost down for everybody. And so that's one of the things that we're focused on. You know, Pensacola is so fortunate to have these different enterprises and we've, we've, um, we've always serviced the public, but we need to run them like uh, businesses. And that's what I've tried to do and I am doing uh, as the mayor. Well, you know, um, when Greg just started, he took... I went over to visit with him, and we got in his car, and he gave me a tour of all the airport land and the land that you're talking about to be developed right now. And I said, "Wow, you got a gem here, you know." And I know that as a marketing guy that he is, he's going to work with you to develop that the way you want it. So I think that's a great lead-in for uh, what's going to happen to the future of Pensacola. Uh, let's talk about Northwest Florida, and um, we talked about ST Aerospace, but and a little bit about the Singapore Air Show and about Airbus, but let's talk about what um, we're doing now in terms of marketing this region for these suppliers. You know, We're working closely with the Chamber, and um, I'd like to get your office involved in some of that uh, activity too, because I really feel that in the next uh, two, three years, we're gonna see some uh, commitments of some of these suppliers to locate uh, probably Pensacola, probably Santa Rosa County, probably Okaloosa County, Walton and Bay County at least. I think that's the window of opportunity uh, area that we're talking about. What is it about Pensacola that's gonna draw them, those suppliers to this area? We talked about the quality of life, but what, what do you think your office is going to do in order to really excel in bringing those companies to the attention of this area? Well, I think one of the things that I think my constituents, my citizens in, in Escambia County and even Santa Rosa County, because, you know, obviously I'm the mayor of the city of Pensacola and have a lot of pride in that. And I'm very humbled to be the mayor. Um, and it's an honor to serve my, my hometown. But most importantly, I think everyone knows I'll get in the car. 
I'll get on an airplane, I'll go meet with the CEOs and tell them about the quality of life, but also yeah. tell them about the business atmosphere and let them know that we want them in Pensacola and we want them in Northwest Florida. You know, I think mayors across the country understand, you know, of course they want them in their city first, but most importantly to build a community together. If it doesn't work in Pensacola, then we look at our other cities to the east. Uh, but we want to keep them, of course, in the great state of Florida. Yeah. But let them know that we're very customer service oriented. We want to make it easy for the public uh, and business owners. One thing that I try to do is have everyone come down to City Hall. They, they call my office a lot, potential businesses, and they want to meet with the mayor and they want to meet with the, the government and let them know that, hey, are you going to be pro uh, business? And I think everyone knows I come from the private sector and I'm a big believer that we work for the public. The public pays our, yeah. our checks. I mean, the taxpayers pay the checks of the folks that work at the city. So I think CEOs and business owners around the country want to hear that and around the world for that matter. Uh, so that's one thing that I try to do always and travel to help my friends. Well, you know, you have a real estate background. Yes, sir. How has that helped you in uh, not running a city uh, like Pensacola? Well, it's helped tremendously because I've, I've logged a lot of miles in, in Northwest Florida and, of course, the state of Florida in my real estate days. And I was in corporate America in New York City. I had the fortune, good fortune to work for AT&T and the Financial Times and moved home, started a little development company with a dear friend of mine. Um, so it, it's helped me tremendously because you know where the assets are. Uh, you know what's readily available. Your ears are the ground still. Uh, but most importantly, you're able to tell that story to the folks that don't know much about our community. And they want to hear that. Where should they live? Where should they locate their businesses? Uh, where the deals are? You know, those are things that you want to have information and information's power. And especially when you're trying to recruit business and families here. Um, a friend of mine just moved here from Cleveland. He was at the Cleveland Clinic. He's a surgeon at, at Sacred Heart Hospital. And, uh, you know, it's like, why wouldn't I be here? I mean, you have national seashores. You have a historic downtown, first settlement in America. You have great universities, good schools, um, good neighborhoods. So those are, those are things that we've really not gotten the word out about. And I think, you, like you said, marketing Northwest Florida and marketing Pensacola. You know, we have tremendous assets. My wife's from Antwerp, Belgium. And uh, she was ready to move back to Pensacola and because uh, she'd recognized how great Northwest Florida is and Pensacola from her travels around the world. So we have a jewel, you know, it's kind of like the diamond in the rough. And I think now more than ever, we're focused on telling the story about Northwest Florida. And I know I'm, you know, focused on telling it about Pensacola. Yeah. We, we talked around it, but we didn't really address it uh, directly. And that I wanted to talk about uh, regionalization. Uh, yes. You know, my organization is about regionalization. Um, and I have to be somewhat neutral for all 16 counties. So, you know, I'm, when I'm out there marketing, uh, wherever I'm at, whether it's uh, in uh, Hamburg or Paris or wherever, uh, I'm selling 16 counties. But inevitably, when we show this map, which we always bring with us of, of Florida and Northwest Florida, uh, oftentimes people will know where Pensacola is. Uh, probably more so than almost any of our other major metro areas. I think because of the uh, Navy. Sure. Um, uh, cradle of Navy aviation. Um, but also because uh, they've been there before. So, you know, it's a, it's a good uh, reminder of them, you know, this is a beautiful area. You know, that does help us. But uh, w when you're marketing, you're marketing the city because uh, you are the city. But um, I know you talk about regionalization as well. And can you elaborate on that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I'm a big believer in relationships and I think relationships are everything. And I think, you know, obviously as the mayor, I'm going to be focused on Pensacola 24 seven, but at the same time, you have to be open-minded to know that you have great cities to the east of you in Northwest Florida and regionalization is incredibly important, whether it's Neil Wade, uh, whether it's Grace Swoop at the state, obviously, and Neil's doing a great job down yeah. there where he is uh, east of us, but obviously Scott Luth here locally, you know, we need to work together to create that value. And I'm a big believer in value benefits and solutions. And if we don't have it in Pensacola, well, one of my friends to the east might have it and they might have something that it's going to interest that company yeah. but we are going to work together because your, your folks that are uh, east of Pensacola they're going to come dine in my restaurants they might buy a second home at Pensacola Beach they might buy a, uh, a second home in the historic district in Pensacola Florida so creating that value and that's why I like to talk about how large our great state is and we only have a million plus 
in Northwest Florida. Mm -hmm. So we have to compete and win together uh, and be on the same page um, and be logical about it. So yeah. regionalism, regionalism, regionalism is very important to our, our, our great uh, part of Northwest Florida. No question about it, Mayor. And uh, you're right on target there. You know, I'm, I mean, and, and when Scott's out there marketing uh, as a group, when we go out together, Scott and the Neil Wades uh, and the rest of our EDOs, they talk Northwest Florida. And that's good because it's one voice and that's what people want to hear. So I appreciate uh, those comments and that support as well. We have time for maybe one more question. I know it goes fast, but you're a fast talker so, and a yeah. fast thinker. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I think that the important thing uh, that I want to get out today is that um, you are a business leader that supports business growth. That is true what you said about when business leaders come to this area to evaluate our area, they do want to meet with the uh, local government officials because we have to sell the area. That's our job. But when they hear it from someone like yourself, um, you know, they know that that's probably a lot solid because it's your job to run a good community. And if they feel that there's a strong community behind where they're looking, it'll help them to make their decision that maybe this is a good place for them to set up shop for their organization. So, you know, you're right on target with that. We appreciate that very much. Um, any last comments, Mayor? Yeah, I, I think I've been very fortunate, Larry, in three years to meet a lot of great leaders. Uh, Jeb Bush and I, Governor Bush and I met immediately when I got sworn in. I had dinner with Michael Bloomberg back in August. Uh, I've met some great leaders. I met, uh, you know, Bush 43 back in August as well, you know, and talked to him about how do you impact the community. And obviously, mayors, we provide services to the community. We want to make sure our neighborhoods are safe. We want to make sure, uh, you know, our streets are clean, our infrastructure is great. But most importantly, we want our businesses to know that we're a business uh, friendly city and we are in Northwest Florida and we need to compete and to compete you have to work together right. and you got to be focused on winning and I think my constituents know that I'm focused on winning and most importantly focused uh, in them winning and we got to win together and we got to win together in our great state in Northwest Florida and most importantly in Pensacola I have to win. Well, Mayor Ashton Hayward, uh, Mayor of Pensacola, Thank you. It was delightful. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you did. And I hope you did as well. And I hope you join us again. I'm your host, Larry Sassano, Florida's Great Northwest. Mayor, thank you again. Thank you, Larry. It was fun. <laughs>